Well, hello there. This is Vitrasa Chess Noob, learning having fun with chess. Today, I'm going to show you a particular feature of chess.com that seemingly nobody ever uses, even though it's really, really useful. I'm talking about conditional moves in daily games. Now, daily games, sometimes you might invite another person or be invited to play against them as a daily game format, but these are really common in club tournament. So a tournament within a club or inter-club tournament. I'm, for example, in Team Australia. At the moment we're playing against uh, England and also France, uh, a France Deutschland club as well. And most of these games are in the daily format. So you make a move, the opponent has usually up to three days to make the next move, then you make a move. Now one of the things about daily games is that they can sometimes take forever to finish. But conditional moves can really speed up the game, particularly at those times when the next series of moves are highly predictable. That occurs sometimes in the openings, sometimes there's a sequence of forced moves, but programming in the conditional moves can really speed up the game. They can also allow you to flex on your opponent as well. I'm going to show you. Now, um, now I've got this, uh, this window loaded up on my second uh, second profile, so drmarketham.com. Don't try friending it. This is a profile I only use for making and testing content. I don't play on this one. So I'm going to create a new game, play a friend. Uh, I'm going to play myself, okay, Vituales, the only friend I have on this, on this account. And let's change it to a daily format. One day, let's play as Black in this game uh, and I'm going to make it non-rated okay because I no, don't want to be you know uh, losing or gaining points non-rated game purely for the purposes of demonstrating this feature play agree all right so I've now been invited I'm now going to switch over to my other profile here we go Vitualis. here we go I've got Dr. Michael Tan wants to play awesome all right there we go I accept the challenge. <laughs> myself versus myself. All right. Now I'm going to play E4. Yeah. And have you ever noticed this button here? Conditional moves. If you click on that, what you can potentially do now is program in the next series of moves. You can create as many lines as you want. For instance, here, Let's say I expect my opponent that they maybe they'll play uh, e5. And if they play e5, I'm going to play the uh, I'm going to play the Vienna new line. If they play the Scandinavian, I'm going to I'm going to take. I expect them to take a queen, and then I'm going to play the knight. Okay, new line. If they play the Sicilian, I'm going to play the Smith Moore again, but takes, takes, here, here, here. Here we go. New line. Uh, oh, what else could they do? So maybe I'll program in here, um, and if they play that, maybe I expect them to play a fork beer, uh, and maybe we'll do it again. again. Alright. And basically, what this now allows is if the opponent plays any of those lines it will be automatic. Now I'm going to switch this back to the other window now. Here we go. Now here I'm going to... oh here we go, play... here we go. There we go. So Vitualis has made a turn. I'm going to play none of those moves. I'm going to play a Kara Khan defense. There we are. Now no automatic moves. Um, let's go back to Matic here, there we are. So you can see I've made the move, it's a daily game. Let's switch back. Here we go, and we can see the opponent play a Kara Khan, which wasn't part of our prediction. So now one of the flexes you can do is now you can program in a whole sequence. And one of the things that triggered me to actually uh, make this video is I recently did this in a tournament. I programmed in an entire trap line and the opponent fell for the eight move checkmate with the oh no my queen trap in the Karakhan defense. So here we go. Let's 
uh, play the main line. Yes. And now let's do the conditional moves. I expect this, play this, they take. Von Hennig Gambit, they're going to defend. Let's attack the pawn, they take, develop the knight, they try to pin my, my uh, knight to my queen. Oh no, my queen, they take. Uh oh, mate. So I can program in this entire line. And this actually worked for one of my opponents in the, uh, in the tournament. Let's switch now over to the other window. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, here we go. Oh, it looks like uh, my opponent uh, played another move. There we go. Hmm. Oh, yep, that makes sense. So we're going to play the main line. And you can see, oh, this has triggered, triggered a conditional move. Okay. Uh, let's take. Yep. Oh. It's my turn again. It's triggered a conditional move. And he, uh, oh, we better defend that pawn. Here we go. Triggered a conditional move. And you know, the opponent is probably thinking, what on earth is going on here? Take. Oh, my move again. Triggered a conditional move. Oh, better pin. Whoops. There we go. Oh, come on. Just got to. Here we go. Oh, they've hung their queen. Mate, <laughs> there we go. And so imagining, you know, I was just imagining my opponent facing my whole list of conditional moves and eventually losing on move eight. But, you know, as you can see, this is really a way you can make the uh, these daily games run much more quickly, particularly in the opening and particularly when there might be a stretch or, or, or run of highly predictable moves. Um, otherwise, you know, you can have, you make a move, wait a day or two, make, they make a move, you wait a day or two, the game might take like two months. So this is a really a way to speed up the game. It's interesting to me that most people don't seem to make use of this feature, the conditional moves. Next time you play a daily game, how about you give it a go? I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.